Yes. I've got a question. In the meantime, is there anything that we can do to help support pagan inmates currently? Yes. One, people can contact me and some of the organizations that are doing work with pagan inmates and volunteer to go in and see them and try to see what they can do to help them. Um, the only thing I'd say is if people intend to do that, let them get some real training because if you don't know what you're doing and you go into the system, you can actually make things worse than better. You know, um, you know, you want to you want to understand that one thing the state is arguing is is which isn't true. They're saying the pagans don't need anybody because we've got all these people who want to volunteer and come in. But if you look at how many people actually are volunteering and come in, nobody. You know, so that isn't even true. But we have to be careful that we don't all show up so that we can keep them from hiring anybody. You know, so it's a complicated issue, and it's not an issue I can say what the right or wrong thing is because I'm in the middle of it, you know, and I have a lot of opinions of my own. Um, one other thing that you guys can do, um, or people can do just to support the case going forward, however I move forward in the case, I personally have spent a great deal of money and am going to continue to, and in fact, while I have people representing me in the case pro bono, Keep in mind that I am also paying, and will continue going forward to pay a lot of these costs. And um, it'd be nice if some of the people in my community who believe in this stuff, you know, you can send donations in and say, this is toward the court case, and we will use them for that. We have a tax-deductible organization that you can donate it to. You can actually go online at the patrickmccollum.org, Patrick McCollum Foundation. There's a PayPal thing you can say, California court case, push here and you can donate a dollar or ten dollars or whatever you want. It doesn't have to be a fortune, <coughs> but a dollar and a dollar and a dollar is ten dollars, you know? And every penny will go towards this case and what we can do. And you know what, if we decide not to move forward on the case and there's dollars in that account that we'll use it to, to write things and hold rallies and do whatever else we need to make it go forward. Any other questions? Uh, you said you're going to be making a decision on how you're going to proceed forward uh, within approximately the next 24 hours. How will you let people know what your decision is? Well, there, it's, it's a difficult process. So to begin with, when I make the decision, I'll, I would need to inform my attorneys what I'm going to do to make the decision. But it's not appropriate for me to let everyone else know what the decision is until I've allowed the other side to make the decision and see how that filters out because the legal process is not cut and dried like we all see it on TV right it goes something like this you know somebody wins somebody loses whatever it is and then the last men on the courthouse steps maybe somebody else comes and says well look what if we give you guys X Y and Z would you not go forward or would you not do this or that they might not do anything like that or they might or we might do something like that or we might not and we can't make those determinations till we've really sat down and said, what, what direction do we want to go? Because I don't want to sit down and be talking about how can we, you know, raise public opinion and make a big issue if we're going to the Supreme Court or if we're going on block or something else like that. But the minute that I've informed my attorneys, whichever way I go, and they say it's okay to tell someone else, then I will inform you um, I could contact um, Star, if she could be like a key person that could tell other people, or I could contact each one of you individually, or I could contact Jason of the Wild Hunt and let all, him know all of you. I mean, I know who most of you are, and if I don't have your contact information, you can give it to me, and I'll um, make sure someone lets you know. Um, I think this is personal. It's not about the case overall. But you know, not only myself, but a lot of people have showed up in this part of the case for our community. I mean, people like Starhawk have canceled, you know, trips to come and go in the prison and and try to meet the needs of inmates. Selena Fox has done work in that. You know, people from Pagan Alliance and from the fairy tradition, Thorn Coil, and and I might could go on and on and on. Most all of our leaders and different people have given their time, their effort, their money and stuff towards this case forward. And you know, pagans are always saying that we want to be treated equal and everything like that. And I really think it's time that 
I have showed up for 14 years, and the last seven years of it has been tough. And I think our community needs to show up. If this is an issue for them, then let's put our time and effort and whatever it is with our, our mouth, you know, money where our mouth is. And I don't mean it has to be cash, money, or something like that. There are plenty of things people can do in the background. You know, they can make out brochures, they can organize events, they can do many different things. This affects all of us. Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. Okay. Now, you said you were you wanted to get feedback from the pagan community. I uh, do. To help in this decision. I would like to know what they want me to do. I mean, the only reason I'm doing this is to defend them. You know, if they'd like me to just to quit now, I'm, hey, I got a lot of other things. I'd love to come to, like, a pagan festival like this, and instead of be spending my night thinking about if I'm going to the whatever, I'd rather be dancing around the fire down there or something, you know? This is not fun. But I would like to know what they think. Whether they're against or for doing it, I'd like to see what people think. And I'm not sure exactly how to go about doing that. I mean, I don't know if you guys have a venue where people could log in or talk or something, but it, it would mean a great deal to me to know because I'm trying to represent you. And I'm trying to represent these inmates. And, um, you know, I, I really need help here.